Welcome back, everybody. This is Brian Kirk with Eat to My Own Beat, taking the road less traveled with another episode. It's episode eight of former leaders and presidents, prime ministers, count chancellors, overlords, dictators, all sorts of ones. So we're going to do Australia. The list of the prime ministers of Australia. 31 people have, have served as the prime minister of Australia since the office was created in 1901. The parties shown are those to switch prime ministers belonged to at the time they held office, and the electoral divisions of who's represented while in office. Several prime ministers belong to parties other than those given, and the representation of other dis electors, electorates before they became their term in office. Since the office was established in 1901, 30 men and one woman have served as prime minister. Robert Menzies, Kevin Rudd served two non-consecutive terms in office, while Alfred Deakin and Andrew Fisher served one or three non-consecutive terms. 31st and current Prime Minister is Anthony Albanese since May 23rd, 2002. There are currently seven living former Prime Ministers. The most recent Prime Minister to die was Bob Hawke on 16th of May, 2019. The, per the, prime, the prime Ministership of Frank Ford, who was replaced seven days after taking office in 1945, was the shortest in Australian history. Robert Menzies served the longest, over 18 years. Of those who had served as the nation's prime minister, three died in office, Joseph Lyons, John Curtin, and Harold Holt, who disappeared and is presumed to have died. One was dismissed, Go Whitlam, and six resigned following leadership scandals. John Gorton, Bob Hawk, Kevin Rudd, Julia Gillard, Tony Abbott, and Malcolm Turbull. We start in 1901, which is the first prime minister and the first election that they ever held for that part. Uh, Sir Edmund Barton, from 1849 to 1920, he is, was when he was alive. He was prime minister from January 1st, 1901, to the 24th of September, 1903. He served the office of two years and 266 days. His political party was perfectionist and his ministry was Barton. Alfred Deakin. He ran in the election and lost, but then in 1903, he won. He was in office from the 24th of September, 1903 to the 27th of April, 1904. He lived from 1856 to 1919. He was in power for 216 days. He was a protectionist and he was first deacon was the ministry. And then Chris Watson was in power uh, he was born in 1867 and lived to 1941. He was in power from the 27th of April, 1904, to the 18th of August, 1904. He was in power for 113 days. He was a Labour Party, and the ministry was Watson. George Reed, from 1945 to 1918. He was in power from the 18th of August, 1904, the 5th of July, 1905, for a total of 321 days. He was free trade, and he was, the ministry was read. Then Alfred Deakin won again, 5th of July, 1905, to the 13th of November, 1908, spent three years, 131 days. He was protectionist, and he was the second Deakin ministry. That was the longest serving prime minister till date at this point. And then we had Andrew Fisher, who was in power, or was born 1862 and died in 1928. He was in power from the 13th of November, 1908, to the 2nd of June, 1909, in power for a total of 201 days with the Labour Party, and it was first Fisher was the ministry. Then Alfred Deakin, again, his first third party, third time in power, he was in power from 2nd of June, 1909, to the 29th of April, 1910, for a power, in power for 331 days. And he was liberal, so he changed up from protectionist. And he was third deacon. It was the ministry. Andrew Fisher. He was alive from 1862 to 1928. He was in power from the 29th of April, 1910, to the 24th of June, 1913 in power for three years, 56 days. He was in the Labour Party, 
And this is the second Fisher because he was he had been in power before. Joseph Cook, alive from 1860 to 1947, was in power the 24th of June 1913 to the 17th of September 1914. Was in power for one year, 85 days. He was the Liberal Party, and he was the Cook Ministry. And then Andrew Fisher once again, he was in power from the September 17th of September 1914. October 27th, 1915, for a total of one year, 40 days, Labor Party, and Third Fisher was the ministry. And then Billy Hughes from 1862 to 1952. He was in power from the 27th of October, 1915, to the 14th of November, 1916. From the 14th of November, 1916, to the 17th of February, 1917. And the 17th of February, 1917, to the 9th of February, 20, 1923, he was in power for a total of seven years, 105 days. His parties were Labor, National, and National, national Labor, and Nationalists. So he switched parties quite a few. And it was all the Hughes were in power then. Stanley Bruce. Ninth, oh, he lived from 1883 to 1967. He was in power from the 9th of February, 1923, to the 22nd of October, 1929. He was in power for six years, 255 days, and he was a nationalist coalition. And then James Scullin, who was from, lived from 1876 to 1953, 22nd of October, 1929, until the 6th of January, 1932. Second, two years, 76 days, he was power for labor, and his ministry was Scullin. Joseph Lyons. He was born in 1879, died in 1939, died in office. From the 6th of January, 1932, to the 7th of April, 1939, he was in power for a total of seven years, 91 days. And he was United Australia, and the United Australia Coalition, it was all in the Lions Ministry. Then we had Sir Earl Page. He was born in 1880 to 18, and he died in 1961. He was on power for a total of 19 days, from 7 of April 1939 to the 26th of April 1939. He was a caretaker prime uh, prime minister because of jo Joseph Lyons passing away. Okay, and then we go on to Robert Menzies. Who lived from 1894 to 1978. He was in power for from the 26th of April 1939 to the 29th of August 1941. Two years, 125 days. He was United Australia, which was a coalition. And it was the Menzies um, ministry. Arthur Fadden. He was born in 1894, died in 1973. He was in power from the 29th of August 1941 the 7th of October 1941 for a total of 39 days. Coalition government failed and he moved on to the prime, new prime minister, which was John Curtin. He was born 1885 and lived to 1945. He lived on the 7th, he was in power from the 7th of October 1941 to the 5th of July 1945. He died in office as well. For, he was in total office for nine, three years, through 271 days, and it was the Labor Party. And then it was taken over by Frank Ford, who lived from 1890 to 18, 1983. He was in power from the 6th of July, 1945, to the 13th of July, 1945. Power for a total of seven days. He was the Labor Party, and he was a caretaker prime minister because of the death of John Curtin. Ben Shifley, from 1885 to 1951. He was in power from the 13th of July 1945 to the 19th of September or December 1949. He was in power for a total of four years, 159 days, Labor Party, and he was the Ministry of Chefley. Then we have Sir Robert Menzies again. He was in power from the 19th of December 1949, 19th of December 1949 through the 26th of January 1996. He was in power for 16 years, 38 days. He was in the Liberal Coalition 
and it was in the Menzies um, ministry. Then we have Harold Holt, born in 1908, died in 1967. He was in power from January 26, 1966, to the 19th of December 1967 when he passed away. He was in power for a total of one year, 327 days, and he was a liberal coalition, and then it was the Holt ministry. Then John McEwen, he took over as caretaker prime minister. He was born in 1990 and lived to 1980. He was in power from December 19th, 1967 to 10th of January 1968 for a total of 22 days. And it was a country party, it was just coalition, and he was under the McEwen ministry. John Gorton from 1911 to 2002. He was born, or he was in power from January 10th, 1968 to the 10th of March, 1971, for a total of three years, 59 days in the Liberal Coalition, and the ministry was Gordon. And then we had William McMahon, from, who was born in 1908, passed away in 1988. Power from the 10th of March, 1971, to the 5th of December, 1972. He was in power for a total of one year, 270 days. He was a Liberal Coalition, and his ministry was McCannon. And we have uh, Gao Whitlam. He was in he was born in 1916 and died 2014. He was in power from the 5th of December 1972 to the 11th of November 1975. In power for two years, 300, 341 days, the Labour Party, and it was the Whitlam Ministry. Malcolm Fraser, from born in 1930, died 2015. He was in power from November 11th. 1975 to March 11th, 1983, total of seven years, 120 days. He was in the Liberal Coalition, and he was the first, he was in the Fraser Ministry. Then we have Bob Hawke, who was in, born in 1829, passed away in 2019. He was in power from the 11th of March, 1983, to the 20th of December, 1991, for a total of eight years, 264 days. He was the Labour Party and the Ministry of Hawke. Then we have Paul Keating, born in 1944, was in power from the 20th of December 1991 to 11th of March 1996 for a total of four years, 82 days. He was the Labour Party and it was the Keating Ministry. We have John Howard, who was in power from March 11th 1996 to the 3rd of December 2007 for a total of 11 years, 267 days. And was the Labour Party, and it was a coalition, and it was the Howard Ministry. Then we have Kevin Rudd, who was born in 1957, was in power from the 3rd of December 2007 to the 24th of June 2010 for a total of two years, 203 days. It was the Labour Party, and it was the Rudd Party, the Rudd Ministry, sorry. Julia Gillard, first woman to be first and only Prime Minister of Australia that was a woman, 24th of June 2010 to the 27th of June 2013, total of three years, three days, the Labour Party, and it was the Gillard Ministry. Then Kevin Rudd was Prime Minister again, from the 27th of June 2013 to the 18th of September 2013 for a total of 83 days, it was the second Rudd Ministry. And then Tony Abbott, born 1957, was in power from the 18th of September 2013 to the 15th of September 2015 for one year, 362 days, was in a Liberal coalition and was in the Ministry of Abbott. Then we have Malcolm Turnbull, who was in, born in 1954, was in power from 15th of September 2015 to the 24th of August 2018 for two years, 343 days, in the Liberal coalition, and it was the Turnbull Ministry. Then it was Scott Morrison, born in 1968, was in power from the 24th of August to the 23rd of May 2002, for a total of three years, 272 days, was in the Liberal Coalition, and was in the Morrison Ministry. And then we have the most current Prime Minister, who is Anthony Albanese. He was, he's in power from the 23rd of May, so very recently, he's still the incumbent, he's been in power a total of 84 days. He's Labour, and it's the Albanese um, Ministry. 
So that's it for the total of leaders for Australia. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep eating your own beat, take the road less traveled, and have a great day.